Hi guys, welcome to Wani's house. Well today, um, we are just going to chat a little bit while I wrap some gifts. I think I did a video like this last year and I called it Let's Wrap. And I was like just talking, I think, and wrapping gifts. But I just wanted to um, jump on here to see how everyone was doing as well as to see where you guys with your Christmas shopping. Are you almost done? Are you done? I am like 95% done. I went and um, bought um, something for my sister-in-law today. Um, I have everything for my niece and my nephew. Um, I have my lap, the laptop that I bought my other nephew. I need to wrap that for him. And um, I have, I think Mr. B is pretty much done. And yeah, I just have to get like two more gifts, I think. And I am finished. So hopefully I will get that done. Oh, and then my dad is giving me money. So I have to go do his Christmas shopping this Saturday. So yes. I am like really busy so the last thing I want to do is to combine his wrapping with my wrapping but I just wanted to um, chat with you guys why I am doing this wrapping um I was wondering like when you guys wrap gifts when Poodle was younger what I would do was I would um wrap some gifts and put those up under the tree but then like um christmas um, morning i would get up very very early and put out all of her unwrapped things like santa had come and put those around the tree so when she went to bed she knew that she had gifts from us that were wrapped because they were already there but she had no clue about what she would wake up to because when, when she woke up she had the wrapped gifts and she also had the unwrapped gifts that were around the tree. So how do you guys do that? Do you just wrap your gifts and you just put them out like Christmas Eve after the little ones have gone to bed? Or do you just wrap gifts and you put them out so they know they have something? Or how do you how do you do all that um, with your um, with your kids, especially the ones with little ones? I'm really interested to see how you um incorporate your um your wrap gifts or if you you do the santa thing or whatever and even when poodle was older um what i would do i would um put items wrap gifts up under the tree for both her and mr b and so they knew they had those gifts but I would get up really, really early in the morning and I would put out the rest of the gifts and they would be the other wrapped gifts that, that they didn't even know they had. So it's still like the element of surprise. And I think I get that from my parents because growing up, we always had a huge Christmas. We had a lot of things. And um, when we would go to bed, there would be nothing up under the tree. But when we would wake up, or more my, because, because my dad could not wait for us to wake up. So we would wake up at like 4 o'clock in the morning. Because they would come into the room and they're like, Wani, um, Santa Claus came. And we're like, oh, we're like, oh my goodness. So I wake up my, my siblings and we running downstairs and you see all of this stuff. So I kind of get that from them. And it's, it's a lot of fun for me as well. So that is what I am going to do with my niece and my nephew. I'm going to put out Mr. B and um, my um, gifts, but I'm not going to. We, I guess I'm, it's no element of surprise now because it's just him and I. So I'm just going to put out all of our wrap gifts, but all of our gifts are going to be wrapped. And then once we get done with our stuff, I am going to... Um, put out the kids things I think or I might just put them all out and we just go through our and I just separate them but this year we are really um we're doing something a little differently when I was at um and when I worked in LA one of my responsibilities was to do like um the outreach 
Um, and I, I really emphasize for like Habitat for Humanity, I did, um, I want to say it may have been like it was something with the Salvation Army where we would adopt a family. And even when I came here, I started that with one of my employers and we did Hosea Feed the Hungry and we also adopted a family. But um, this year, my sister-in-law's, one of her kids in her class the mother is on drugs, and so the grandmother now has custody of them, but she is having such a hard time taking care of them and, you know, just supplying, like, the basic things for them. And so she works. She works. She's a nurse. I'm not sure if she's a registered nurse or CNA or something. I'm, I'm not sure. But she works, like, 12-hour days at two different hospitals. So she works seven days a week. And, um... This year, she asked my sister-in-law if the kids can stay with her because she would have to work. Because what she was doing was that she was driving from um, Atlanta, and she, we're on the southern side of the city. So she would drive from Atlanta, I mean, from the south side past the airport all the way to Augusta on Friday to take the kids over to her daughter's house in, the, in Augusta on Friday. And that's about two and a half hours there, two and a half hours back. And we don't even want to talk about if there's traffic. So she's spending five hours or so out of her day on Fridays um, to do this. And then the kids will stay over there Saturday and then Sunday. She will, after she gets off work at seven o'clock in the evening, she will drive back to Augusta and drive back here and so the kids are tired and exhausted and she just was so worn out and she's not getting like any help from anyone because the kids were not put into the system and so she's really having a hard time with this but she was like really concerned because she couldn't afford to get her kids christmas and she has to work so um she let my sister-in-law know she was like well if you know i have to work can you watch them for Christmas and she was like but I don't I won't have anything to bring them over here you know for them to open or whatever and my sister-in-law you know she told me and I'm like well surely we're not gonna um have them over and having the other kids open their things and not them have anything I don't roll like that I I don't I was never brought up like that way and we always had something we had more than enough for Christmas and so um so what we've decided to do, so myself and my sister and my sister, we're getting the kids. We bought them some things so they would have something to open at my house because everyone's coming over here for brunch. So they'll have their Christmas in the morning at their house and then brunch starts at my house at 11 and then everyone's bringing the other gifts for everybody here and then we'll have gifts for the kids and we'll exchange gifts here during brunch. So, but we went out and um, I got the kids something and then my brother and sister-in-law called me because my dad is actually buying bikes for my niece and my nephew and their helmets and everything. And so my brother called me last night and they bought bikes for the two kids also. So all the kids will be here and they will be out um, riding their bikes and my sister-in-law bought they bought them skates so they're really gonna have a great time so i bought them a lot of things and i think i went overboard as usual but um yeah they're gonna have a really great christmas and i'm so happy because when if i can help anybody um you know any way i can if i if, if you know financially if i can do something i try to do it but i think all of um my little um, um, planning and everything else that I was going to do, I really, I, I spent a lot on the little people this year. I, I spent a lot on all of the little kids, ours and these, um, these extended kids who are going to be part of our um, family. But, um, so I, but oh, another thing I need to do because I have stockings for the little, um, for my niece and my nephew, and I need to work on their stockings. And I need to get two more stockings for this little boy and this little 
um, little girl also. So that's what I will be doing this weekend. I am really um, excited about everything that I've done. Let me show you these little shoes I bought for my nephew. And I found these at a store that I don't frequent a lot. And I went in there. I forgot what I went. Oh, I went in there because they have some amazing Christmas ornaments. Matter of fact, the ornaments that I use to make the um, the candle holder that you guys have been like really, really raving about. It is really pretty. Um, I bought those ornaments there and they were only a dollar. And so um, when I went in there, I was like, wow, you know, they have some really cute things but they also had these cute little shoes right here and these were only these were $6.99 these were $6.99 but these are these are for my nephew and then look at these these are so cute and these are BB brand and these came from that place also and it's called Shoppers World if you're here in Atlanta you have a Shoppers World don't sleep on them they have some really cute um items in there especially for your kids you know kids grow so fast and you know you can get some really nice things inexpensively and if they go and tear it up or whatever you don't you, you don't care but these are bb slippers here and actually i saw some slippers similar to this today at macy's i think they were um oh goodness i can't think of the name the brand now but I think I'm gonna get those but look at that it has BB right here and they're sparkly and shiny yeah this is for my little diva niece she's gonna really like these and so these were like I said these are only four dollars and 99 cents so those were a great deal for them to have so I am I have this for them and then I have their Christmas pajamas which I purchased these during black friday so what i think this is for my niece and this is the shopkins she really likes shopkins so i bought her this for um this and then my nephew he loves the minions and he loves spider-man and now i kind of wish i had bought him spider-man because i found him a spider-man watch and mr b found him some spider-man earphones so now i wish i would have gotten a spider-man but he likes the minions also so i bought him this for the minions so these are their christmas pajamas and then they'll have their slippers here. These are so freaking cute. And um, he'll has, have his slippers. And so I am going to get these to them um, this weekend. Well, yes, this weekend, probably on Friday. Saturday, I'm going to an ugly Christmas um, sweater party. Could not find a sweater. I saw some sweaters did not want to pay the price so i'm gonna make them um for mr um v and myself and then i got this for my mom these are her pajamas here and i picked up these from jc penny right here and um so she'll have her pajamas when she come and then um i have mr b's pajamas and he had not seen them yet but yeah, I started wrapping some things. I have my sister-in-law bought her some pajamas also. Um, she won't, these, this is part of her gift. I bought that. Macy's has a really good sale. It starts today, but well, today is Tuesday. So it's Tuesday and Wednesday. Really good sale. Um, they have a lot of different fragrances. They have Michael, Michael Kors, the Rollerball, three in a pack for um $25 they had um what else did they have they had juicy couture for $25 the bottle is beautiful and it's a really nice size they have some a lot of different fragrances so if you're looking for any kind of fragrance you want to get someone go to Macy's the sale ends today you can use a $20 off of 50 I think it is coupon if you go before two on Wednesday and um, also at um, Aldi's tomorrow they have some copperware I received the circular for this coming week that starts tomorrow they have some copper they have this copper um, ice bucket it is gorgeous and it's $14.99 so that is great to have like for like New Year's or any time or whatever but I can definitely see having it for New Year's 
Um, they also have some copper barware, and I think that's $6.99 a piece. But if you can look online and um, at your Aldi circular, it should be there. But they have some really great things, and not that I necessarily needed anything, um, but I just thought that I would let you guys know just in case you need it, because you know I don't have any place to store anything. So, yeah, I'm sitting up here talking to you guys and haven't wrapped a thing. So, and I just realized I needed some boxes. I needed some boxes for a couple of things. And this is coming loose. And I did not have any, um, any labels so that I can um, identify what um who what items belong to whom and this this is for my mom i knew this was hers i knew that one this one who did i put on here that's for my mom what's this one for oh yeah that's for her i did this one this one's for her also and oh this one's for her too oh yeah this is hers also See, I've only wrapped my mom's things, it looks like, that um, Mr. B, I can't wrap his stuff because he is here. So I will have to do his when he's away. This is for my niece. And that's it. So I have a whole bunch of um, other things to wrap here. Like I said, I'm not going to wrap these toys. I do need to go through them and label them so i don't want anyone to get something that belongs to somebody else and there'll be a whole big mess so i'm gonna go ahead and label those but um yeah so i am i am almost done and i'll be happy when i'll be able to sit back and just um enjoy everything remember guys i told you i was gonna do my wrapping in this type of paper and you see this i'm using this ribbon as well as some gold ribbon i'm gonna put some little embellishments on here but i think i'm gonna do that for like the adult gift for the kids gift they don't care about that but i'm gonna keep my ribbon when when they take it off my off the package and um so all of these will be going downstairs tomorrow i'm gonna get me some labels since i don't have any and the ones that I want, I want them to be, I don't want, I want them to be kind of a little bit fancy. So I'm going to see what I find tomorrow at TJ Maxx. And I need to get some boxes. I went somewhere and they had boxes and I, oh, that's where it was. At, um, at home. At home has their Christmas items right now for 50% off guys. And, and my at home had a lot of stuff left and so um they have their christmas boxes i think it's three sizes it's three boxes i think and the regular price is three i think it's 3.99 something like that but i am going to go to at home to see about their boxes because i need several boxes um for this stuff and um this reminded me so i need to write me a note to get boxes because I would definitely forget. And who is this for? Oh, that's for my nephew. And I have my um, popcorn tins here because I'm going to put those in large bags and I'm put a bow on it. I, I thought about just putting a bow on it and I might just do that. You know that little simple bow you put on the top? I might just do that instead of doing a bag. I can use a bag for one of these other um gifts and um also i went to aldi's i had went had to go to several Aldi's because last week well beginning last wednesday they had the kids watches for four dollars and 99 cents and i i i went to literally three aldi's to look for these watches and the last one i went i went to was on Sunday and they had it. So I got the watches and I got my niece the Shopkins watch. Isn't that cute? 
This was only $4.99. So I got the Shopkins watch. And then I, I, they may have had Minions or whatever, but I bought him Spider-Man. Um, when I got there, they only had three watches and the other ones was like the Princess. This is the only um, boy watch they had, but it's fine with me because he is going to love it. So I got them watches. And so I'm going to um, wrap these, I think. And then um, I also went by Five Below. I bought a lot of stuff at Five Below. You have to watch Five Below because even though it's just $5, those $5 add up very quickly. And so, um, yeah, I bought both boys some Hot Wheel cars and they were a dollar. So I bought them like two Hot Wheel cars a piece. And I know my nephew likes like dump trucks and stuff like that. So I bought him one like this and one like this. And I bought the other little boy who's about the same age. Well, he is the same. He's six. And my nephew will be six on January the 7th. So I bought this one. Isn't that cute? That's sharp, huh? Then I bought this one here. So these are going to go in their stockings and as well as I'm not going to put these in their stockings. These are actually going to be gifts for them because I was not able to get two more for the other little boy and little girl. Now the little girl, she just turned four. So she was three. So she ain't going to know about this anyway. But um, I am going to actually put, have wrap these. So while I'm talking about it, let me do that now. And... Um, for the other, for the little girl, I bought her this. This is so cute. And it's so freaking soft. And I thought it would be something that she can have. I know she's probably just really going through it because, you know, her, she was really, she was, they were literally abandoned. The mother did not want them. She is so strung out on her drugs. And yeah, it is, it is so sad. But I wanted to give her something. And I thought this little pink unicorn was the perfect little gift for her to carry around and love on. And then I saw some um, pajamas that I'm going to get her um, this weekend. And they had unicorns on it. So I think this is going to be cute. So I think I will pair, probably pair both of these together. Um, so she can have her unicorn that matches her pajamas. So she might get this early. So, yes. And, um, yeah, I just have a lot of things. And I think I got enough so that from me, each kid will probably have three gifts. From my sister, they will have three gifts, I think. And um, I'm going to get them three gifts apiece from my dad. And, um... Yeah, and then they're going to have bikes and they're going to have, I don't know what else. So this is what I am doing. Also, and the little girl is so cute. I also got these from Aldi's. She wanted some tea set. She saw my um, sister-in-law's plate set and she thought they were tea sets. And she said she wanted some. So I found these little cute tea sets here at Aldi's also. So this is for her. And yeah, I want to get probably get the little boy. Well, actually, I'm gonna get it with my um, my dad's money. I'm gonna get him um, a couple of trucks and something else. So we'll see, we'll see. But guys, I just wanted to quickly come in and check in. See, I've been talking to you and running my mouth. I have not wrapped a single gift, but um. I hope you are enjoying yourself and you are enjoying this time as we prepare to be with our families. Um, this week I am going to, I need to go to Aldi's to get the rest of the items that I'm going to use for my brunch. I don't know what we're going to have for dinner. Mr. B wanted, um, what did he want? He wanted a roast. Oh, excuse me. He wanted a roast. So I will probably um, make a roast and put it in the crock pot with some um, carrots and 
I don't know, maybe some parsnips and carrots. That sounds good, huh? And then maybe I will make a big pot of mashed potatoes and roast some broccoli or do some Brussels sprouts or something. Because it's only the two of us and I don't want to cook no big nothing. And everyone's going to be here for breakfast and hopefully by 3 o'clock they're gone. And I can have my dinner on and maybe Mr. B and I can go to the movies or something. So we'll see. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video and kind of organize all this stuff around me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you answer the question that I asked you guys. How did you um, do Christmas for your kids? Did you put the gifts out the night before and they be wrapped gifts? Did you do a combination of wrapped and unwrapped gifts? Or how did you do it? I'm just really interested to know how you did it for your kids and especially for the ones you may have little kids right now. How do you do it? So guys, let me end this video. But before I go, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye. <laughs>